Hello guys, it's Santa Cliff here in February, that's right, I know Christmas is over, but I still have some Christmas food to eat, which I didn't get around to eating, and today I'm going to eat a Christmas slice, okay, by um, Mr Kipling, okay, now, generally, often at Christmas time, <coughs> you can buy Christmas cakes, and it's usually essentially a fruit cake with some thick icing on the top, okay? And this is like that, okay? It's basically going to be a fruit cake of some sort with um and even admit it, they say fruit cake laid with almond topping and white icing. So they're even honest about what it is. I mean obviously they're gonna tell in the ingredients, but this is actually in the description. Okay? Now it's currently February the 7th, and today in the news there's a sto new story about how our Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has um, shuffled, reshuffled the um, ca his government cabinet. Um, you know, women like to move um, furniture around for absolutely no reason whatsoever and politicians do the same with their cabinets you know so women like to move cabinets around for no reason at all because they're just bored of where things are and politicians like to do the same with their cabinets okay that's like, that's not entirely true but you know um anyway and basically today um grant Sh shaps has been um, named as the new energy and net zero secretary um i couldn't possibly have known that until today so it proves when I'm actually um, making this video, okay? Now, this is actually within date, for once. I say for once because if you've watched my channel, you know that I'm well known for eating out of date food. It's actually dated the 20th of February. I don't think it's possible to even see it, unfortunately, but there you go, 20th of February. And so just to show you, I'm going to open it up. And inside they have them as packs of two, so they have three packs of two inside. And throughout the rest of the year, by the way, they do things which look similar to this, but they're things like chocolate flavoured or lemon flavoured. They, they don't look exactly like this, obviously, because, and, but this kind of flavour is only available really at Christmas, as you see it says six Christmas slices, and they've called them Christmas slices, okay? And I put one up. I'm only going to eat one on camera. Okay. Now, I'll see it here. And here you can see, look, it's a fruit cake. And look at the bottom part. It's it's fruit cake. It's probably got sultanas and currants and things. And I haven't looked, but um. Now, if I look at the ingredients, it claims, I'm just going to pick the main ones. Sugar, icing, sugar, raisins, sultanas, um, dark brown sugar, glucose syrup, wheat flour, water, vegetable, mar margarine, glazed cherries, various preservatives, ground almonds, ground rice, Salt alcohol, so um, this is not suitable for Muslims. Apparently, you can't have this if you're a Muslim. Um, mixed spices, raising agent, may starch, acid, acid, acid. Okay, if you're from the 80s, you'll understand. If not, there was a song called We Call It Acid or something like that. Okay. Anyway, um, right, May Starch, yep. Yeah. I mean, that's most of it. I mean, there's, you know, there's lots of things in it. And those are the main things, okay? So, basically, Muslims cannot eat this, okay? Because um, it's got alcohol in it, okay? So, this is, um, this is harem, okay? This is harem food, okay? Right, now, 
And if I break the middle, just to show you in the middle, pretty much the same. As I said, it is what it is, it's essentially fruitcake with icing. So, I'm now going to get totally sloth now, but eating this I'll probably fall over and vomit in the toilet or something, you know? Because I'll be so drunk, apparently I haven't had to eat yet. Not really. The amount of alcohol you get and things like this is so little that, you know, you couldn't possibly get drunk on it. You know, if you tried to eat so many you would get drunk, then you would basically, um, probably so full you couldn't eat anymore anyway, unless you're trying to win some sort of eating world record. Yes, it's very juicy. Very moist. Um, and then there's a lot of icing sugar here, I wouldn't say it's over the top, because, um, Okay. Well, the cake is a bit dry. I mean, it's quite good, but I'm not, it's compensated for by, you know, the icing sugar. Obviously, um, the tortillas and raisins make it juicy, so overall, it is very juicy. Um, but it doesn't taste to me excessively sweet. So yeah, you might think, well, maybe I'm just. I've just got used to this sort of thing, I don't know. Um, okay, I'm just taking up my time because my computer is going slowly and um, I have had things like this before, and I've often had things like this at Christmas time. Um, I can't remember if I've ever made anything like this. Though. I know obviously I've made a fruit cake without the top icing on, but I'm not sure if I've ever done one with the icing. And I've made it myself, okay? But there you go, guys. Just to show you again, this is. No, I haven't eaten. I think I'm starting to taste some of the more sweetness now. So, and go, guys. Mr. Kipling Christmas Slice. And here it has the, um, Traffic lights, health um, charts, you can see how healthy it is, you know, in terms of fatness and things like that, and how much salt and things like that. Um, and it's red and salt, which means, sorry, sugar, I mean, because obviously it's got a lot of ice and sugar in it, so that's why it's red. It means it's obviously not too good for you just because it's got lots of ice and sugar in. It's not the healthiest of food, but it's not meant to be a healthy food. It's just meant to be a food people eat at Christmas for enjoyment. It's amber, or yellow, regarding fats, saturates, and salt. And it says that it's 8% energy. So in other words, if you had a, perhaps more than 10 of these a day that might be all the energy you need apparently if you have a bit of like a few more than 10. and it says that the box and the tray could be recycled but the film and what i mean by the film is the um i think they mean this window part or they possibly also mean this as well they probably mean this plastic bit as well, you have it says you have to recycle with bags at a large supermarket, okay? Because here we um, basically throw some out, put our rubbish, take our rubbish to the supermarket sometimes um, to be recycled, okay? So, and it says 100% natural flavors, no artificial flay colors, no hydrogenated fat, and that's mentioned there. And Mr. Kipling is one of um, 
the top um well the top i would call um popular brands here for things like cake like pre-made cakes and tarts and things like that okay um i'm not saying it's for millionaires or anything like that more than people can afford it but it's you know one of the better brands okay it's better generally than a supermarket brand okay so there you go it's a brand that people it's probably the most popular brand for this kind of thing okay so there you go for there you go guys um mr kipling christmas slice thanks for watching Bye.